would you differentiate between the concept of resilience and thrivability, which is what you've, you've been talking about? Mm. Thrivability for me relates very much to the ideas of resonance, mm -hmm. and that looks at a bigger picture and the interplay, the dynamic interplay of the various living systems uh, and their conditions on the planet, in the living world, for example. Why resilience looks very much backwards in two, two uh, aspects. One aspect is it looks at the one system, resilience of uh, agriculture, resilience of a sp specific community, of a, of a nation. Um, it, so it, it creates a, something in focus and something beyond, while thrivability is more inclusive. And if we look at the, the heritage of the, of the term resilience, it is very conservative in, the, in, the, in that aspect that it restores what has been before. And by doing so, it's sort of, again, backwards. But that's not how the world evolves. I mean, if, if, we, if we look back 100 years, 1,000 years, 10,000 years, there had been constant change. If we listen to Heraklit Pantare, everything flows. Every, the only constant is change. And to embrace that, rather than to say, no, 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 we want to, we want to stay where we are. It's, it's so nice here. We don't want to change. We, we, we want things to, to be resilient, to not change. And that's why I prefer thrivability over uh, resilience. It's more inclusive. <laughs> <laughs>